Welcome back to the lab. Today I have a first look at a 250 size quadcopter from Newfrog. A while back I went on the hunt for a 250 size quadcopter at a good price. I found newfrog.com had a great deal and they actually offered one up for a review. The kit comes with a lot of components, let's go ahead and take a quick look. This is how it came to me, uh, just in a nice bag, it was in a really good shipping package, no damage, electrostatic ESD protection bags on all of them, not too bad, pretty good. So these are the speed controls, let's go ahead and get one out. Shown as a Mr. RC brand, uh, really light, really small. Uh, all you can read is what's on the heat shrink tubing, so it's just basically a generic speed control. Small wires, uh, silicone though, really nice, nice and flexible. Remaining three, same deal, nothing special to see there. Comes with a power distribution board. Pretty straightforward, not much to it. Standard distribution board, good quality, nice silk screening on it. Lots of big solder pads, shouldn't be a problem. Comes with a Dean's plug and two pieces of wire. This is a silicone style wire, really flexible. And the heat shrink to go with it. Can't go too far wrong. Comes with a CC3D flight controller, pretty standard nowadays. Comes in a nice little plastic package. It is the enclosed one, not just the open circuit board and the vertical pins on it, which we'll see. I don't think I like the vertical ones so much as I would horizontal, but hey, for the price, I can't go too far wrong. All the wires to hook it up and no instructions or anything, but the CC3D is pretty straightforward, I think. Inside the box, what have we got? Props. The motors showing a Mar Power motor, really, really tiny, standard little 250 size outrunner motor. Feels good. Don't see anything to complain about here. Anodized standoffs and rubber mounts for the FPV camera. Here's the frames. This is kind of what I really wanted to take a look at. They look great. Really nice. I have to say, that is impressive right out of the box. Super smooth, no rough corners, uh, nothing that I feel that's going to cut me. That is a really impressive little bit of kit. In the other bag, we have the legs going out to the motors, pre-assembled with the feet for the standoffs to keep it off the ground. I'm actually surprised they took the time to put those on there, but they did. Huh. Very cool. No complaints at all. All the hardware here. Here's the plates for our camera. And a set of instructions, which I actually didn't expect to see. Looks pretty straightforward to set up and build. I don't think there'll be any surprises here. We're gonna go ahead and assemble this probably end up using a Mobius on it or I do have some 5.8 gig standard board cameras. I'm not sure what we'll use just yet. Like I said this is just a first look. I have to say I'm impressed with the quality of this already. The carbon fiber feels great. It's not rough at all so we're gonna go ahead and whip this together as just a super basic quad build. There's tons of these videos on YouTube so I don't think I'll do the entire video but we will start playing with it and see what we can do for some flight video and some flying action. Link to this quad can be found in the description below. I'm Eric from the Make Me Lab and I'll see you next video.